IBM's plans to create an Internet of Things infrastructure, uh, they're going to use a blockchain to create an Internet of Things. Uh, it's not IBM specifically, actually, it's, it's researchers associated with them. It's not IBM coming out with a product or anything. Uh, these researchers are going to write a white paper, which comes out in January, and they are creating an Internet of Things where, you know, uh, your various appliances can potentially be connected to the internet and communicate with each other and you can get push notifications to your phone about like you know when the dishwasher is done and, and stuff like that um, and IBM is attempting to create an infrastructure for this one slice of that infrastructure is going to be a blockchain uh, decentralized ledger just like Bitcoin that can keep track of uh, you know how these appliances are communicating with each other and there was some there was some uh, misconception early on when this story first broke and uh, when 2-bit idiot uh, you know started talking about it and coin coindesk covered it uh, it wasn't really clear if they were going to use the Bitcoin blockchain or create their own blockchain like an altcoin sort of thing but uh, Paul Brody the guy who is uh, spearheading this project, he clarified on Twitter that it's probably going to be their own blockchain so that it's smaller and easier to manage and you don't have to deal with all the rules that are already associated with Bitcoin and, and you know, the confirmation times which were which are almost set in stone at this point because of all the miners that are invested in it. So... But they're they're gonna create they're gonna use cryptocurrency technology to create a, f a decentralized framework uh, for keeping track of the Internet of Things. So they don't have to set up their own centralized servers, which is costly to do and is a point of failure for the whole network. You'll basically just be able to switch this thing on; it'll run itself, and you know almost no maintenance on the part of you know whoever's running it and it's going to be open source as well they're going to release the open source white paper in January and potentially potentially big news down the road it's, it's very vaporware at this point and they they aren't even really sure what the blockchain is going to look at look like what algorithm they're going to use but it's pretty interesting that that IBM one of the hugest uh computer companies in the world definitely you know made some huge strides in the 20th century that they're considering blockchain technology uh, to create a next generation framework for connecting all of your home appliances to each other uh, through the internet. It's pretty crazy. So, okay, this is kind of a little over my head. Mm -hmm. Why Why exactly, what would the benefit be of, of them using a blockchain? Would it, it's just automate, or automating things, making them more efficient? Like, like uh, as opposed to servers uh because like so uh, so the blockchain would be replacing servers yeah cuz cuz normally like if we didn't if we didn't have uh blockchain technology right now if we didn't have bitcoin to do something like this uh they would have to use centralized servers to basically store all the data from these uh from you know tv stereo dishwasher coffee maker uh, lights and, and thermostat and stuff and and keep track of all that and then and then push it out to these devices through the internet uh, for this information so they don't that's completely unnecessary now they can connect directly to each other in a decentralized manner and and yeah that just takes out that takes a whole other expensive unnecessary thing out of the equation and basically makes the technology uh, more more likely to come to market uh, it's going to be easier for people to make products for it to come to market. Um, the hard part is just going to be, you know, deciding on what algorithm to use for this blockchain. You know, they probably don't want to use proof of work uh, because proof of work is pretty. It ends up being wasteful in terms of energy. I mean, just look at how how much the Bitcoin mining industry has exploded and how you can't even get into it anymore unless you drop $3,000 on a massive ASIC machine, which is good for nothing else besides mining Bitcoin. So you don't, you don't want to, you know, use up tons of, like, CPU energy in, in your appliances 
um, it would be too costly to use to implement those CPUs and it would be a waste of energy in the long run I think it'd be better if they used a proof-of-stake system for for you know maintaining the information on this network because you don't you don't have to expend the device doesn't have to expend any energy to you know to access the network to to uh, put data on the network and and things like that um and and there's tons of other options as well but you know that's that's the hard part really is uh is is choosing choosing the algorithm and uh you know I, I'm not even close to an expert on on this thing. It's it's super super vaporware at this point. And there's like two other separate like other innovations in technology that are go, going to go into this project, uh, which is called Adept. They're calling it Adept. There's two other things like a messaging system is going to be integrated into it, uh, sort of like a bit message. And then there's going to be they're actually going to use BitTorrent, I believe, a BitTorrent like technology. Uh, for sharing data across this Internet of Things as well, and the the blockchain is the third um, res uh, the third ingredient in this recipe. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty interesting that that they're gonna create this Internet of Things with blockchain technology. Decentralized coffee makers, all right. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I get a push notification. Oh wait, my coffee's done. Sweet, turn on TV automatically, and I'm ready to watch. TV with my coffee. Yeah, you'd have to. I can't imagine them implementing anything r that uses like a confirmation system. Because mm, yeah. I mean, like you, like you, like just imagine having to get six confirmations to turn on your kitchen light or something. You know. Yeah. So maybe yeah. maybe they have to maybe they come up with their own algorithm. Yeah. Yeah, I I think that's what they're gonna do. Um, two bit idiot was trying to push this this notion that like it would be best to use the Bitcoin blockchain or they should use the Bitcoin blockchain. But why? 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 Uh, it's not it's not necessary. You don't want to wait like you don't even want to wait for one confirmation to turn your light on. <laughs> you know, yeah. you don't want to wait 10 minutes for that. You don't even want to wait uh, five seconds to do that. So, you know, why? Why piggyback something on the Bitcoin blockchain that? wouldn't fit in that system at at all it, it wouldn't make sense to use the bitcoin blockchain necessarily and then like there's all kinds of other projects that people are picking back piggybacking on the bitcoin blockchain i mean counterparty and mastercoin for one are you know often touted as alternative cryptocurrencies but they're actually built onto bitcoin itself and there's been speculated speculation recently as well about how stuff like this is bloating the Bitcoin blockchain. Um, so, you know, there's there's no harm in creating your own alternative blockchain for something like this. There's already hundreds of people doing it already for all their stupidest ideas. Why not actually use an alternative blockchain for something actually useful? That's, yeah, that's, 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 really, that's really what you should do, right? Because then you can, um, you can customize your blockchain and make it do... Make it serve whatever purpose you need it to. With but with Bitcoin, it, like if you just build something on top of Bitcoin, just because the Bitcoin blockchain is there, um, well then you do have to deal with minor confirmations. You have to deal with miners. Like I can't imagine why you would need um, a blockchain that used miners to process the signal from your phone to your coffee maker. Like. Um, you could just create a new blockchain with a new algorithm if you're smart enough to, you know, do away with that and make it, you know, inst literally instantaneous. So, I mean, Satoshi open sourced the blockchain for a reason, uh, so people could, like, you know, make it better and make it do different things other than Bitcoin. Go on. Why would you want to build anything on top of the? Bitcoin blockchain when you could just you know make your own and make it do whatever you want right right it says to serve a very specific purpose and that purpose is to to create the internet of things like kind of hate using that term out actually because it's just a buzzword it doesn't really describe what's really going on someone should create a better description of that but um, yeah it's a very specific function that that you know IBM and other entities as well are trying to create and yeah, don't you don't need to piggyback this onto Bitcoin. There's other ways to make 
Bitcoin more useful and more appealing for people than telling them that, 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 that they can use Bitcoin to turn on multiple appliances at once and have them communicate with each other. So, you know, it, it, overall, it's, it's great news for cryptocurrency community overall, though, because uh, we might actually see a useful altcoin blockchain now that can actually do something that improves people's lives in a useful way besides just all these useless kind of uh scams that are that are on the cryptocurrency markets yep it's gonna be an interesting future everything everything is gonna be on the internet like every, like everybody used to think the future was flying cars but no the future is the internet Everything's going to be on the internet. It's going to make life way easier.